Hey everyone, this is Mason from Filtergrade. Today we're going to be using the Adobe Lightroom mobile app to edit urban and city photos. The urban look relies heavily on a moody, desaturated look, and we'll be going into detail on which tools to use to achieve this look and how to use them. This is not a be-all, end-all of tutorials because every image is a little bit different. Experiment around with some of these settings to achieve your desired look, but hopefully this gives you a good baseline. So we're going to start by importing our image into Lightroom. So we have this image of a stairway, lots of concrete, we've got some yellow lines, some yellow details in the background, but a very city setting here. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to bring up our settings, we're going to go to the light tab, that's where you should start. We might mess with the exposure later, but we're going to start by just slightly reducing the exposure. We want it to be a little bit darker in here, but we might end up adjusting that later. Next, we're going to increase the contrast. Then we're going to increase highlights a little bit, increase shadows a little bit, increase the whites so they're a little whiter, and then decrease the blacks. And then if we go into our curves, we can set three markers here. And then we're going to want to bring up our highlights a little bit, bring up our mid-tones a little bit, bring down the black slightly, and then bring up the shadows just a little bit so that they're a little bit into the gray tones there. Now we can go to the color tab here, and the first thing we're going to want to do is give it a slightly cooler temperature. So we're going to go a little bit into the blues here, and as you can see, we're already making a lot of progress. We have these deep moody shadows, and the shadows are sort of in their blue tones. And now we're going to go to Vibrance, and we're going to decrease that a fair bit so it almost starts to become a black and white photo. Then we're going to increase the saturation a little bit. This is going to make sure that the colors that we want to bring out are brought out very strongly, and that everything else is more subdued. Urban photography editing benefits from using orange tones and subduing everything else. So if we go into the Color Mix tab here, we're actually going to take our reds and yellows and turn them orange, and then we're going to reduce everything except for our oranges. So we take the red hue here, move it to orange, and then we can increase the saturation and luminance a little bit, but it's not too big of a deal. And if we go to orange, that looks good. We're going to up the luminance a little bit so it really comes out. We're going to go to yellow, also move that to orange, and then everything else we're going to turn the saturation all the way down, so it pretty much just doesn't show up. Now as we can see, that blue didn't really do what we wanted it to, so we're going to bring some of that back up. We're going to bring the blues back into this image, but obviously we don't want to go too far. You know, let's just keep them just a little bit lower than zero and then say done. And now we're going to go into some additional effects and we only need to use a couple of these. We're going to increase the clarity. That sort of helps give it a, a grungy look. Obviously you don't want to go too far, but if we go just a little bit up, that gives it some extra texture. And we want to add a vignette. Yeah, a little vignette there and then feather it so it's not as harsh. So we're looking pretty good right now. Uh, I don't love how blown out this bottom stairway is though. So I'm gonna go back to our lighting and see, maybe we can reduce our highlights. Yeah, reducing our highlights really brings a lot of that texture back, but our vignette is a little too much now. So we're gonna go back to vignette and reduce it so it's just barely there on the edges. Now we have a lot more texture, gives it a lot more of a grungy, moody, city look. And now, if you want to really give it some, some of the blue moodiness, we can go back and we can make the color temperature more blue. Let's undo that, and then let's go back into here and we're gonna go to split toning. And here we can actually decide what color the highlights and shadows should be. And if we take those to a fairly desaturated blue for both of them, that can kind of give us that dark, slightly blue tone that we want. As you can see, the blues are coming out and the oranges are coming out. This is exactly what we want. 
I think the only thing that would make this better is actually if we reduce the vibrance even more. And maybe the saturation a little bit as well. We don't need as much saturation as it seemed like. And here is our final product. Now let's try this one. This one is a little bit different. It's brightly lit, has a very orange town. Uh, this looks like it might be a bit of a challenge to turn into something dark and moody because the original photo was not dark and moody at all. But this will show you that it doesn't matter what the original photo was, you can really turn it into whatever you want it to be. So we'll start with the exposure, turning that down a little bit, and we're gonna up the contrast. Actually, I don't like how dark that became. Let's keep the exposure at zero for now. And then we're going to increase the highlights a bit. Increase the shadows. Increase the whites. Increase the blacks. A little less highlights. And then go into our curves. Create our three points. Do the same thing we did before. We're gonna raise the highlights, raise the midtones, lower the shadows, bring up the blacks to a little more gray. And we're already getting sort of a photo filter look here, but we're still very orange, so we're gonna go to the color tab, turn that temperature nice and blue. Now we have a nice, more neutral tone going on. And vibrance, turn that way down. Saturation, turn it a little bit up. We're already looking good. And if we go into the color mix, as before, we're going to turn the reds and yellows into oranges, boost the orange saturation, and then for everything else, we're going to reduce the saturation down to nothing, except for blue, which we... So really that's only adjusting the center, where the buildings are, you can see. So we're going to keep that relatively desaturated, but... Not too bad. Can we make it darker? All right, make it a little bit darker. Ooh, but we don't want to change the luminance much. It looks good as it is. So now we'll say done. And so far, it's looking pretty good. There's the original, and here's what we've created. So we could stop here, if you wanted to other than adding a vignette, of course, which always helps. Increase the feather on that vignette a little bit. Now I've got something pretty good. To enhance this, you could decrease the color temperature more if you wanted to, get rid of some of those warm tones, make it a little cooler. And then you can also go into split toning again and make the highlights and shadows blue. But in this case, I don't think it really adds much to the image. We're gonna warm that back up a little bit. And then let's go see if clarity does much for us. Oh yeah, clarity will give us a bit grungier of a look. This one's a little too much texture, I think. So we're gonna scale that back down to just a little bit. But there we go. There's another piece of urban photography. This one's a little less desaturated because there's a lot of orange tones in the buildings and everything. So this one's a little bit warmer than the last one, but still very grungy and urban. Well, hopefully you found this video interesting. This is, of course, a template, if you will, for editing urban photography. As you can see, I made a lot of adjustments on the fly. This is not set in stone. It doesn't work for everything. So make sure that you take a photo that works for what you want to do with the edit. Make sure that you are conscious of other colors. In this case, there was plenty of orange to work with, but you know, if there's plants or anything like that, then you're going to need to adjust your greens. Make sure that nothing looks out of place. If you desaturate everything and end up with a bright green tree that is now gray, it might look a little weird even when you are trying to achieve that look. So keep in mind that every photo is different and go out there and have fun editing. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.